Oh, the, here, I can get one. We're up. We're live. We're live? We're live? Guys, we're live. Uh, I, Spencer and I are here, and we got another Lego set. It's that time, and this one, pretty sick. Uh, shit. Uh, check this out. Friggin', friggin' skate park. Building, building, we're gonna shred. Oh, thanks. Um, and, guys, I get to sit normally this time, uh, which is awesome. Uh, shout out Pale Vampire, my number one hater. <laughs> yeah, Pale Vampire, we've heard that we've heard we the heard, critiques. We heard that you hate me. We're gonna be removing Shane from a few videos. Uh, I'm not gonna <laughs> be in anything. But Shane, there's something I want to talk to you about. Now that the strike is over, we can finally announce that you played uh, Nightmare Chica in the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. <laughs> yeah. We've been sitting on that for a long yeah, time. Yeah, guys, we can finally say that. We can finally, uh, dude, we've, we've got the post all clocked and ready to go. It's, uh, I'm so grateful. Yeah, I can talk about movies now. Um, uh, which, yeah, I guess I haven't really on camera been talking about movies. Um, uh, you know, Five Nights at Freddy's. Haven't, didn't watch it. Um, I heard it sucked. But, I didn't, I didn't see it either. But, not movie related, but I don't know if people saw that I fully convinced Amanda, well, you and I convinced Amanda that uh, that's all real. Dude, that shit's got like two and a half million views on Instagram. It's incredible. It blew up, um, uh, and rightly so, because it's friggin' hilarious. Um, all right, so I'm building this little scooter first. Um, There's some interesting pieces I've never seen before. Like, this This is an interesting... I wonder if this is a bespoke Lego piece. Oh, good point. Yeah. Um, I, I still can't believe Amanda had never heard of Five Nights at Freddy's. She had never, like, I don't know if she'd heard the sentence, Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, no, it's truly a gift how um, offline she is in some ways. No, I, yeah, I, like, it is, it is, it's, it's almost admirable. I, I truly am jealous of it, uh, sh you know. But it makes sense, you know, there's a happiness to Amanda that you really can only have. <laughs> If you're not on not uh, on social media, someone said Shane say meow for my playlist, and I just have questions about like, so do you have a playlist of 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 people like a Smosh people saying meow? Which in which case like kind of hilarious. You know, this is the thing. You messed up. You should have said Shane, can you meow for me? And I probably would have, but now that you've stated that it's for a playlist, I I'm a little hesitant. You know, <laughs> that's I, where you draw the line. I I think now that I know that this is for you know, other purposes. I feel strange and conflicted about it. Um, having said that, <laughs> <laughs> do you guys get served that, that yes. tick? Do you guys get served that Twitch streamer who's like, like, all right, here's 10 sexy meows for you. Dude, did you see the kid who's, the kid dresses Miles Morales? Uh, he's like, he's like doing the, like the oh, NPC, he's doing yeah. the NPC chat and like in public and, uh, and like the security guard comes over, he's like, "Hey, like you gotta get out of here, like, like, hey, like, please, like, leave, like." While he's like, "Nah, I'm gonna do my own thing," and he just keeps doing like the NPC thing, and the guy like tries like move, and he's like, "Nah, I'm gonna do my own thing." <laughs> it's just, like, dude, the absolute like the absolute insanity of the people you find. Ah, uh, it's funny. I got the stream up right here, and uh, and I can see myself doing everything I'm doing just like 15 <laughs> seconds later, which is really fun. <laughs> I have the super amazing ability to see myself. Yeah. Uh, ten seconds ago. The BBG meow. I'm assuming that's baby girl. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I'm really good. If I have, I have a secret talent, and it's like, if you give me like letters, and are like, hey, these letters stand for something. If you give me like a context, I can usually crack that. Okay, let me let me give you one. Uh, TGIF. Oof. Uh. Let's go to Chili's. Yes, that is yeah, correct. Yeah. I didn't even need context for that one. <laughs> None of the same. <laughs> Thank goodness. Did you ever go to TGI Fridays? Did you I did. Fridays? I actually never enjoyed it. I didn't like TGI Fridays. I liked Ruby Tuesdays. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I like Ruby Tuesdays. They're a little bit of a... Uh, actually, wait. Did I ever go to Ruby Tuesdays? I'm, I think I'm mixing it up with some other places. Like Applebee's? Yeah. Applesby? No, I've been to Ru a Ruby Tuesdays like once or twice. It was, it was fine. 
Someone said, okay. are y'all mulch gang? Is that like a... What is that? Is that people who eat mulch? There's a dog on TikTok who, eat, who eats mulch or he's going to die. Oh, that's awesome. Whoa. Yeah, well, I'm... He got a lobotomy and now he wants... Is that... That's not related to, to the dog, the Deadpool dog? No. Okay, I saw the Deadpool dog. Did y'all see that? No. He was scabbing. The hell's going on? There's Dude, a there's whole a bunch dog. Of shit. There's a dog that looks like Deadpool, I guess. Well, oh. it doesn't look like Deadpool. Maybe they just dressed it up. It's one of those dogs where it's kind of fucked up and its like tongue is out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, kind of like Angela's dog. Yeah, that's Spork. See, I thought Spork was fully normal. <laughs> I really no, I think up that you said that. <laughs> no, I think Spork. I think dogs are just like some dogs are just kind of like you know, they're a little goofy. Yeah. And I think Spork is one of those goofy dogs. Look at look at this. Lego soda. Whoa. Dude, speaking of, I got Lego, my kickstart. Lego soda. Someone said Spencer gives me Hooters vibes. I've never been to Hooters. I think that'd be a fun smush uh, field trip. You going to Hooters? Yeah. I went to Hooters once when I was uh, younger, a lot younger, like six or seven, and I only remember hating the food. I was too young to be aware of, of the... uh, what was going on otherwise. I did not care about the Hooters. You were like in between I the area about... of like appreciating milk and appreciating breasts. <laughs> <laughs> Too old for milk. <laughs> that window where you're just not into yeah, boobs just at not, all. You know. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> um, no, I, I remember hating it. Uh, very I don't much. think I don't think I would like it at all. No, you wouldn't. Um, it's kind of like an American made cafe. Yeah, I, you know, I guess that is the closest definition that you can ever come up with. Someone said bro hated the Hooters tendies. I did hate the tendies. That's what I had, and I thought they sucked. I'm glad it is, like, a universal experience where it was, like, you know, you had to order the tendies. Like, and, and I that was me. Like, the Ruby Tuesday, ordered the tendies. Yeah. Apples B. Um, on the podcast that comes out on Monday... Which uh, is with uh, Ian, uh, Amanda, and I. We, but which, by the way, great episode. We found Amanda had this cooking show, or not a cooking show. It was a food show from like over ten years ago, and uh, it was a YouTube channel. Don't look it up because we watch it on the podcast. And um, anyway, it's it's insane. But at the end, I pitch a cooking show for myself, and I say, "What if I had a show called Tender Time?" Where I, oh, uh, I heard this. Where I go to a different restaurant every episode, and I order chicken tenders. If they don't have chicken tenders, I leave, and that's the end of the episode. I love that. But no. if there's, if they do have chicken tenders, I eat them and I review them. I, uh, I, I think like just like a tender review. I mean, I, I love like I love the Retin Link. Like we tried every chicken nugget from every fast right. food chain. What What do you think are the best chicken tenders in the world? Um. So there's a place in my hometown called Danny's Fried Chicken. I, I'm partial to that, but honestly, like the Popeye spicy strips. Ooh, that's a good choice. Dude. See, okay, yeah. chilies, chilies, the chilies, chicken honey crispers. Ch the honey chipotle chicken crispers are pretty advanced. Yeah, yeah, they are elite. Um, but Popeye's, Popeye's is a good, good guess. Uh, good, so good Popeye's, they fucked up my order real bad earlier this week. Uh, I was, I was, I was kind of grumpy. I was umpy. Because I ordered it, because um, I saw they had the new strawberry biscuit. What? Yeah, I was like, I haven't heard, I haven't heard of this. Interesting. Uh, and I was like, you know, it'll be something sweet at the end of my meal. And I also ordered, which is my favorite, uh, the mashed potatoes, which you dip the spicy strip in. Ooh, they didn't include. Whoa. They didn't include my sauces. They didn't include my mashed potatoes, and they didn't include my strawberry biscuit. You, you really know how to do fast food. I when think you, I, I like you really I I are good about it. Like you go and you you get the right combination of things and you actually use them together in tandem. And you also are always talking about like, oh, they have this new menu item. I need to try it. I'm not I've, that way. I have had the same friggin' orders at places my entire life. I love to try new things. I'll always like kind of order Old Faithful as a uh, as a uh, as a backup. Sure. Um, Tendies. Yeah. From um, everywhere. No, and that was the other thing. I had my McDonald's order fucked up earlier this week too. Wow, it that's, broke my heart. I will say that's rare. Because I, feel I like. went, I went with Kiana, and I was like, you know what? Courtney brought in uh, some some chicken nuggets, which I, I don't usually go for. She brought in the chicken nuggets and the new spicy jam. Interesting. And I and I had a dip and of the spicy jam, and I was like, that was great. 
and I like I wanted more. And then so I went and I, I you know I went there and I ordered the nuggets and spicy jam. Totally totally left it out. Wow. No no a nothing. Bunch of fuckers. I know, dude. Fuck them. Yeah. Um. I uh I was listening to a TikTok, so take this with a grain of salt. But they were listing the the unhealthiest fast food places in the world. It's gotta be Dunkin'. No, that didn't. I don't know if they counted yeah, that as fast no, food. Uh, number one, they they said was Wendy's. And that kind of shocked me. But I think they were going based on, like, what is their most unhealthy menu yeah, item. Yeah, I was going to say. Like, with all of them, because they were like, Panda Express is one of the, I was looking up, and Panda Express is one of the healthiest ones, because if you, if you order steamed rice, oh, fuck off. then it's less calories. I'm like, okay, hold on. If you're, I'm of this opinion of, like, it's how I feel about, like, when they have, like, this is a healthy dessert treat. I'm like, if I'm going to do fast food, I'm doing fast food. I'm yeah. not gonna go to a fast food place and order the healthy items. Nah, I'm gonna do my own. Unless thing. I'm in a bind and it's the only thing available. If I'm going to fast food, I'm. Uh, it's a treat. I'm doing that as, I'm. I'm going hardcore. Um, okay, wait, wait. Someone, someone literally just named Sauce, said best fast food sauce. Oh, <laughs> I, that's awesome. So this is what they do. Um, I uh, look. I've t I've said it before. I'm a cane sauce fanatic. No, I was gonna say honestly, the cane sauce like elevates like every every other sauce from fast food places. Like I can I can enjoy them. Cane sauce. I'm like if they didn't include cane sauce, I would it's, I would. It's pointless. It, so my brother has has perfectly um, captured this. It's that when you go to Cane's, you, you're getting cane sauce, and everything else is merely a vessel for the cane uh, sauce. I agreed. Um. Someone had the suggestion Shane guesses everyone. Shane guesses everyone based on their hot takes. That's actually really funny. Oh, I, someone said Popeyes Mardi Gras mustard. So that was I didn't order the honey mustard. I got the Mardi Gras mustard, and that's what they left out of my Popeyes order. Whoa. Yeah. I think I'm missing a little piece here. I need more of these, and I don't. I don't have them. Well, I can come back to it. Which piece? You need? See, I need these corner pieces. And I need them right there, and I'm missing them. So it's fine. I'll, I'm sure I will come across it. Yeah, that's so weird. It's freaking... Someone said, what are you building? Uh, we're building a Lego um, kind of a skate park. It is a skate park. It's a full-on skate park, dude. Full-on freaking skate park. Smosh Game says, uh, I made you a piece, but I eated it. Aww. And if I did, no, I didn't. What? They're crazy. Um, guys, I've been hooked on a new video game. It's called Dave the Diver, and I am freaking hooked. It's so good. Shane was so mad he couldn't play it today. I, that's all I want to do is play it. I literally could just play that game nonstop. What the? F where are these pieces? Are we missing a bag? Can we get a bag check? So I, here's my Lego story. I got a second hand, the Mario cube, which I'm still building, but I was missing a few pieces and you just go on lego.com, you type in the pieces you're missing and they just send them to you for free. Not, hashtag not an ad. Someone said, have you ever tried a cigarette before? <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys want cigarettes? Um, okay. Well, Someone said it looks like the Scooby-Doo van. It does. This looks like the Mystery Machine. Okay. Well, here's the thing. I I don't know what. It's a little confusing, but. <laughs> I I'm moving on from it, and I'm sure it will be okay because it's not a crucial piece. It's like the roof of something. Can we hand me the bags. Yeah. Wait. No. It's gotta just be stuck in a bag. There's this no is. Way we're, there's no way we're missing a piece. That's fucked up, dude. You start with the bag. Back. Guys, we got a Lego. Oh. You, you stupid shit. <laughs> There's the pieces. Someone said I want free Legos. Get in line. Well, too bad. No free Legos for you. Ooh, Shane guesses your blood type based only on texture. Oh, so I kind of like. Wow. You do like a blade. Thing. I kind of drink the blood. Oh, a we do bit. the test from the thing where they where they zap the blood. Yeah, that'd be fun. Someone said, have you ever tried cigarettes and sauce? <laughs> cigarettes and sauce. I need to try that. 
Um, I had to smoke a cigarette for a video one time. I didn't have to, but oh it was like, God. oh, what we're doing fuck? like a, we're doing like a film noir thing. And yeah, I didn't like it. No, I remember trying uh, a cigarette when I was younger, and I I fucking hated it. How old were you? I was a teenager. It was illegal. I no, dude. I remember I remember visiting my friend in Georgia, and uh, and we were like kind of walking around. We were we were in high school, and I pulled out these cigarettes, and I was like, bro, what? He's like, yeah, we smoke sometimes. <laughs> and I felt like I was in a fucking commercial. I was like. Bro, this is wild. Like, no, man. Like, this is... We can't... Like, I don't want to be doing this. And Guys, this is probably bad. I said no. Guys, what if... What if God can see us? <laughs> Someone said Shane should build a Gundam on stream. How long ago did we do that? That was like a month ago, right? Yeah. Jesus, was that a month ago? Okay, check it out. Skate park's coming together. This is going to be fucking epic. This is going to be so fucking sick. Like that, but unironically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get rid of this shit. Um, anyone in chat play Dave the Diver? I've seen a couple of people like enjoy it. Like, someone, Bro, it's, well, someone said explain Dave the Diver, so you have so the So Dave floor. the Diver, you, uh, it's two games in one, which is what makes it awesome. During the day, you go on dives, and it's very, um... Who, and who do you play as? You play as Dave, yeah. who's a diver. <laughs> um, and, uh, it's kind of like a side-scrolling platformer, but you're underwater. So it's kind of like Mario Wonder. Uh, no. <laughs> um, so it's kind of like Skippy and Toilet. So, but, but get this. But get this. <laughs> but no, that's John Pork. Um, uh, did you know that John Pork called me earlier today? Holy shit. Yeah. Did you answer? I, d I didn't. Mm. <laughs> no. Um, no, you play as Dave the Diver, and you uh, during the day you swim around, do, like all around. Uh, you can go wherever you want, and you're catching fish. Um, and, and there's like sharks and all sorts of crazy shit, um, and you, you can like fight them and, and gather them, and you gather all these resources, right? You gather all this, all this fish, and then at night, you come back from your dive and you work at the sushi restaurant mm. that uses all the fish you just caught. So it's like Cooking Mama. So it's kind of like Cooking Mama. It actually, the, that part of it is like Cooking Mama, except you're a server, so you're trying to like juggle all these things, you're upgrading the restaurant, so it's two games in one, um, and it's it's truly delightful. I, I bought it on Steam because I saw I got like a bunch of 10 out of 10s, and I just have not played it. Uh, let me go back and read a couple Super Chats. Um, uh, Maldostress, thank you for the Super Chat, said, are you guys going to get the new Avengers Tower set? We were just talking about that earlier. What's It's $500? Is it $500? I think it's $500. $500. Uh, Look, it looks fun as hell to build. I'm not a huge Marvel guy. Having a Kevin Feige minifig would be really funny, but like not for five hundred dollars. What is this? Um... So it's the Avengers like tower, like it's like the their oh hub, like, Jesus, you know, the, the helipad and stuff, and it has like every Avenger and like a bunch of like iterations. Cool, dude. These are sick. Uh, these are really dumb. These are really cool um, minifigs. Yeah, these are sick as hell. I'm about to build a skateboard. Uh, heavy Metal Whoa. Lover says, Shane and Spencer, I need to know, what are your favorite 2023 movies slash TV shows? And we can talk about it now. We, I can talk about it, thankfully. Uh, favorite movie is probably still Barbie. That movie was just so original and funny to me. Uh, I just really loved it. Um, probably behind that, and I know you, you might disagree, uh, Talk to me really, really mm -hmm. captured me. Um, it spoke to you. It spoke to me. Dude, talk to I, me. I, spoke to I, me. I, you know what? I let them in. Um, <laughs> uh, truly, just loved that movie. Uh, it was very, felt very original. I loved. A lot was, of... I like couldn't remember a single movie I saw, and I was like, oh yeah, I guess I did see Talk to Me. Yeah. Um, I started watching a. Uh, I almost said Mario. Uh, Spider Man on a plane. I was like, this is sick. And then I turned it off because I got kind of sleepy. But the first like 15 minutes were sick as hell. Yeah, I, I did really like Spider-Man. I need to see it again. It's on Netflix. It's got a lot going on that it's... It It felt like a lot to be watching on a tiny plane screen. Yeah, no. Um, it, it's an incredible movie. It just... They're, they're it very much... Um, you got to pay attention. And there, uh, so much happens that I was like, whew. Um, but... But I did like it a I lot. I put it on, and then I was like, nah, I'm going to do my own thing. <laughs> uh, someone said, uh, Sauce again said, okay, Shane, Sauce, coming back. Said, All right, Sauce. Says, okay, Shane, you said cane sauce last time. Best fat sauce apart from cane sauce. Okay. Oh, that's good. 
Okay. Someone said cigarette stream win. <laughs> Do what? Again, the thumbnail is like, me and me with cigarettes. Like, we try cigarettes? <laughs> Um, <laughs> let's see best sauce outside of that and you can't say whatever's in the ashtray <laughs> <laughs> uh, my favorite sauce is whatever they have in the bathrooms that you <laughs> um, shit that's tough I'm not really like a huge sauce person outside of that like um, like McDonald's barbecue sauce I actually I always, I always really liked as a kid um, I don't think it's anything that special, but I just liked it. Um, God, I'm trying to think of other sauces. Do you have one that stands out? Because I feel like you've tried a lot like of Like the Mardi Gras ones. mustard is really good. See, because I haven't uh, tried a lot of these sauces. Um, uh, they, did, they used to do spicy ketchup at Whataburger. I don't know if they still do that, Whoa. but that was, that, was pretty, that was pretty good. That sounds sick. Meg said, guys, don't panic, but John Pork played darts with my stepdad earlier. <laughs> no fucking way. That's crazy. That's insane. Someone said, dude, get this roast. Shane, are you going to skate in that park? It's your size. Get the fuck out. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> um, Great roast. Someone said, 20 bucks of Shane says me casas. Sue Casa in a high-pitched voice. Is that a Barbie thing? I don't know. I'm kind of afraid to say it because I feel like I'm being tricked. Yeah. Um, For what purpose? Yeah. Someone said, has Spencer ever done the spelling bikini wax challenge? So curious. Uh, no. We don't do that anymore. We don't, we don't fuck with that shit anymore, man. <laughs> we, we had a... Not a spelling. Yeah. Uh, I've never been waxed, period. Did you, did you get waxed on that show? Uh, yeah. It was rough, man. It Ooh. was weird. Someone said cast the Smosh cast in the new Zelda movie. So. Okay, that's fun. Okay. I think we just should make Ian Link because it's funny. Yeah, I would like to see him. Um, I'd like to see him try. Yeah. No, the amount of like Ian I saw in my timeline. Oh my God, it really blew up. Um, very funny. Um, let's see. Uh... I can hear them like moaning. They're shooting something next door and I just hear like moaning. Okay, there's some easy choices here. I think uh, Ian's Link. I think. Uh, I want to see Angela's Link. Whoa. No, because Angela would play uh, the fairy that falls. Navi. Navi. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> listen, listen. Um, Amanda would be Ganon. No, Amanda I think is a Gerudo. Whoa. Wow. Isn't Ganon a Gerudo? Yeah, technically. Yeah, technically. Um, but Anthony has to be Ganon. Anthony's Ganon. Link is, is yeah, Ganon. Anthony's Ganon, because it's funny. Um, uh, <laughs> Someone said eat or eat it, but it's all cigarettes. Best bubble game, best bubblegum cigar stream? Dude, I would love, dude, Freud is shaking, because I fucking love, like, bubblegum, like, the candy cigarettes, the bubble gum things. Yeah. Like, I just love I having hate, things in my mouth, man. <laughs> um, I never was a crazy fan of that shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't really fuck with that. I don't really fuck with fake cigarettes. Um, uh, someone in fast food, if I'm going to smoke a cigarette, I'm going to fucking... I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, someone said, Spencer, do you play Yu-Gi-Oh? Never played. I played a shit ton of Yu-Gi-Oh. Hey, well, the question was for me. So, okay. Uh, <laughs> Okay, let's, uh, let's, you know, build your fucking Legos. Do you man. ever see that guy on TikTok who his whole thing is he separates Legos? No. Does but he's he on, like, little, like, so he gets, like, two, like, small, like, he'll get two pieces, like, um, like, say it'll be, like, this and, and this. And he connects them, but he'll have it covered in oil and his hands covered in oil. No, and he plays Dark one. Souls OST while he's, like, trying to separate them. I saw one that was, like, it was, like, a one by one one by one oil one hand I know it's so people are putting in the in the chat like hey do this one like do it with all these parameters and he does it it's honestly kind of impressive I think it's sick as hell oh I'm making a basketball uh hoop that's so oh, sick oh someone said Angela would be a bokoblin yes yeah Funny. yeah for sure um I see I think a lot of people might say Courtney would be Zelda. I don't see it. Uh, Courtney could be Link. Courtney could also be Link. Yeah, I also see that. Um, or Courtney would just be like a villager. 
She would just be yeah. like, there go like, <laughs> she does that so well. Have you heard her do that? Yeah. It's insane. Courtney's impressions of like the dumbest shit. No, she is like incredible. Yeah, it really. <laughs> She'll bust out like a. She does the Korok one too. Yeah. No, she does do the Korok. Yeah. No. Oh, Angela's a Korok. Yeah. You'd find her and be like, God damn it. Yeah. Chance is a uh, Zora. Yeah. Chance gives Zora energy for sure. Arash would be one. Of, who are the tall women? Well, that's a Gerudo. Oh, I think Arash would be that I too. Think, I think Arash. I think and Arash Amanda, and Amanda. They both. Would both give they that. both. They both give that a little bit. Um. Um. Hmm. Uh, I think I would be a Goron. Hmm. I think I give Goron energy. B G E. Or or I'd always be one. Of, I'd be how every Zelda has like an angry little kid. Yeah. Some point who's just like, Meh. like there's always some angry kid. At some point. Whoa, guys, this is getting crazy. I'm trying to I'm trying to cast myself. What the hell, dude? That's dude! so sick. So it's a it's a half pipe, but it has a friggin'. They should make that real. That should really happen. Someone said, "What's your favorite Scooby Doo episode or movie?" Uh, you know, for me, Harlem yeah. Globetrotters. <laughs> it's the second time they've come up in two days for me. Really? Yeah. Uh, mine's got to be Zombie Island. Shout out to my boy. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty good one. I saw there was that fan made thing of uh, the Scooby Gang entering Fe Freddy Fazbear's. I'm like, that crossover That's makes scary. so yeah. much sense. That'd be scary. Real talk. I did see the FNAF movie. And uh, real talk, I just thought it was kind of lame. I heard it was just like kind of mid. I thought it was. Uh, look, and I. Obviously, if you watch the podcast, you know that I, I did watch through Matthew Patrick's true crime series on uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. So I know that lore, but I am not delved in enough on the overall lore to really know what's going on. And it felt like this movie was asking you to really know a lot of shit. I thought the movie just, it was kind of devoid of like the scares that I was hoping for. It wasn't like a scary movie. Does he do the thing? Does he do the, like? No. Not oh, he, I, doesn't, he doesn't? Not that I saw. I, I Look, I was a little in and out because I just played it at home. You were eating in and out. Um, yeah, I was eating in and out. Um, but uh, I, I just was like, dude, this, this could have been like, they should have made this so simple and just terrifying and a lot of jump scares and make it silly and campy. Uh, it did not feel campy at all. Uh, they, it was opposite of camp, and uh, does chat? Let me know if chat agrees on that. Chat seem chat's uh, chat's kind of agreeing. Yeah, and like, look, I have no problem. I didn't think it was like a train wreck of a movie. I just was like, it just felt like it lacked. It did. Lack it the lacked sauce. like energy, and I think that movie could have gotten away with being a bad movie that's entertaining, but it was. I thought it was. It wasn't enough of. I anything. thought it was mid, and I thought it wasn't entertaining. Someone um, real fast. Someone said. Uh, Oh, Meredith said, I'll never be able to Venture Brothers Scooby-Doo parody where the gang is all messed up. Oh, that my God. Funny. Where they're all serial killers? Yeah. Where it's Ted Bundy and, uh, and uh, fuck, that dude. That shit's the best. And then Ulti Mosaic said, new Moose Master soon? Yeah. I'll never tell. Uh, we, we have one. We have one. Uh, you know, I can, I can say it. I'm allowed. Yeah. We have one filming soon, and uh, we're going to have a very special guest. I don't even know if you know about it. I don't think I know about this yeah. one. Um, is it... Matt Pat. It's Josh, Matt Pat. It's Josh Hutcherson. God, if we got Matt Pat on Moose Master. That feels attainable. I actually really, genuinely, my next goal is to get Matt Pat on the podcast with Amanda, but we talk about like Dateline <laughs> yeah. things, and we, we ask Matt Pat's uh, theories on like real life, <laughs> like dark shit. <laughs> like, what's your game theory on JFK? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to know. Has he done historical theories? I highly doubt it. That feels very intense. Mel Doster said Spencer for Tingle. Is he the guy in the little onesie? Yes. Oh, someone said Spencer is Mr. Hudson. Hust Hudson. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see He's that. got the big tall wife, doesn't uh, he? Or Beetle, the merchant. Oh, you know who I would want to be? Is um oh god, who's the the um oh why am I blanking on it? Um who's the guy with the the accordion? Um oh, ra, ra, Falcon uh, guy? Kaz. Kaz. If I could be Kaz, dude. That would be, he's my favorite character in all of them. Kaz is so fucking sick. Clark Tim said, anyone want a Poppy's Playtime full-length movie? Well, I freaking do. 
That uh, could be sick. Dude, I, one, some of my favorite videos are the ones of you and Courtney playing that do, shit. Do, that that do, shit is okay, so... Do we want to give them the inside scoop on that? Does, we, is we've that, said it before. We've said it before? Okay, great. Uh, that I wasn't Alex, actually were you, playing. Were you here for that? No, but I know the story. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. That I was not actually playing. Y'all killed it, though. It was so funny. Yeah. It, that, that was truly insane. Um, That'd be a fun live stream of... Uh, like or, reacting. Well, like, like if you have four people, they all have controllers, and they're and, and you like, have to guess oh, who's actually to guess playing. Who's playing? It's like who's singing. Yeah. It's like who's really doing the speed run. I'm writing that down. Alex is writing that really down. Fun. Well, he's not meowing in chat. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Someone said I want to see the bloody gory detail of someone being stuffed into an animatronic suit. Like honestly, yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, I was actually <laughs> when we were telling Amanda, uh, like. Telling it as a true story, I'm like, this, this is, is fucked so up. fucked up. Oh, Sauce is back in chat. He says, have either of you read Dune? What do you think of the new movie? <laughs> sauce. Dude. Uh, I love how Sauce is like, okay, what's your favorite sauce? Secondly, what do you think of Dune? Dude, honestly, the, the sauce found on uh, the planet Arrakis. Yeah, you know. Paul that's, Trady has got a taste of the sauce. That's the whole reason they're there is for the sauce. Yeah. Um, the sauce. <laughs> Shit, uh, yeah, the sauce here. that lets you see. Um, sauce that lets no, Shane and I both like Dune. We and I, I love the movie. You do you like the movie? I did like the movie. We were uh, talking about the Lego set. I I love the movie. Um, I uh, dude, what the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna I'm just gonna. So until we play Pico Park again, I, I would love to. I I, I love think there are more Park. levels. Love Pico Park. Love it. And someone said, have we seen Willy's Wonderland? I think that's the Nick Cage Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Yes. I heard that was okay. Yeah. Um, I hear it's pretty good. The sauce must flow. <laughs> the sauce. Um, speaking of Dune, there's the Dune Lego set. Yeah, no, I'm How super excited. How insane is that? Do you think they can undelay Dune now? Uh, yeah, there's, I saw a tweet that was like, Okay, hear me out. Dune could still come out this Oh, week. yeah, I said it was like the, the here's how Dune can still get under God damn. Dude, I fucking... Dune 1 was sick, and every time that Dune trailer comes on, that Dune 2 trailer, I get hyped. I get hyped as yeah. hell. Um, yeah, the tall boy Dune minifig is sick as hell. Did we watch it? Attack on Titan? Uh, how did you... I, I am so behind on Attack on Titan, to be completely honest. Dude, check this out. So it, this can just be around, or... Whoa, t this is fucking sick. Dude, I'm so amped. So this is also going to be a little bit of a treat for a lot of people who work here. So a lot of our crew, super into tech deck, and they're good at it. And fingerboards. Fingerboards. Yeah, like little friggin'. And they, so what's they, the difference between tech deck and fingerboards? Fingerboards uh, are just like smaller. One's for adults. Yeah, and fingerboards are for adults. Okay, so we, should, we need tech decks for this probably. Here, you want my fingerboard? What brand is your fingerboard? It's Lustful. Oh. I thought Tech Deck was like the only brand. I have never heard of any other brand that makes fingerboards. The big difference is that Tech Deck has like actual grip tape, but fingerboards have like a nice soft. Um, Ooh, someone said, can we decorate gingerbread houses on live again? I think we should definitely do that. Wow, you got really loose trucks on this. Yeah. Bro, your trucks are loose as hell. You need to tighten that shit Dude. up, boy. Dude. Nah. Frick. <laughs> Nah, put it, put it in, man. Exactly. Holy uh, shit! Whoa! Holy fuck. Whoa! Whoa! Boom! You're I mean, so bad at that. Check, check this. Fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Here, check this out, though. But get this. But get this. But get this. She's friggin' shit. Dude, apparently you're bad at Lego too. Hey, man. Yeah. Um, <laughs> someone said, uh, hey, from Canada, have either of you been to Canada before? And if so, did you like it? Uh, I have been to Toronto very briefly, and it was uh, it was cool. I was in Vancouver for like 24 hours. That shit was cool. Yeah. Um, nice. Oh, uh, nice. she's dead. Nice. Uh, and then Meredith said, I still get hyped as shit for the House of Trades bagpipes. Agreed. Oh, when, those, yeah. when those bagpipes kick on, I'm standing up in the seat. What Sailor Moon characters are you? Clearly, I'm. I'm. Uh, who's the uh, Tuxedo Mask? Yeah, you're Tuxedo Mask. You're the cat. I am the cat. I think we kind of nailed the whole cast for Zelda. That's 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 sick. Um. Any plans for Zombicide, Cascadia, or Wingspan on board? Yeah. 
Wait, they're asking to see the set a little closer. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Get, Guys, get come, come, come closer. Get, get in here. Um. Wingspan. I don't know how fun Wingspan is to watch. And Zombicide and Cascadia. Truthfully, don't know much about them, but never, I will be investigating. I've never played Wingspan, but I I do hear a lot about it. It's so good. Yeah. It's so good. But it's more of a chill game. Or is uh, it, it? Is be, it? It can be competitive. Is it fun to watch? No. Yeah. A lot of a lot of things. It sucks too with video games, where like a lot of games that are really fun to play aren't fun to watch. Um, it's the same with a lot of board games. Um, you know what I kind of want to play again? That I we played forever ago, and I swear to God, it's actually really fun and funny. Is shoots and ladders? Because it's oh, yeah, we pure did, luck. Yeah, yeah. Pure luck. Zero. Nothing happens. Just fucking around. It'd be a good one for characters. Um, we did theme shoots and ladders, didn't we? We did some sort of insane thing. It'd be fun to do don't win shoots and ladders. That would be Because you're just kind of... I mean, that, then it's just like still luck. It's yeah, still no, luck. Let's... It's the same thing, but you're like stoked. I love how like on live stream and like during y'all's podcast is when you kind of come up with like the like the good ideas. Because uh, was I Sniper know. Chess on So Moscast? Sniper Chess, I had the idea. I put it in my notes app. And then on Smoshcast, we just happened to be going through our notes apps. And I talked about sniper chess, and um, so sort of. But it was the first time I said it out loud. Or actually, no, I had already pitched it to you guys, but I think but we weren't listening. I think I think you weren't listening, and then I brought it up <laughs> on the podcast, and then you guys and were like, we're okay, and we're big fans of the and pod. Yeah. But if I say it on the podcast, then you care. Uh, I cannot believe that sniper chess is like one of our biggest videos of the year. It's yeah. fucking. It's my favorite. That it's and Gentleman's so, Moose Master. So insane. Someone said, which Tony Hawk game soundtrack is the best? It's got to be four one. or one. Dude, one has got such a good soundtrack. Okay. Starts off with Goldfinger. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Dude, did you play the remake? No. Fucking incredible. I heard. Uh, are we going to see the new Studio GB movie? Studio Ghibli? Oh, I hear it's good. Yeah, I heard it's pretty good. I hated Wind Rises, so I, I'm going to go in. Wind Rises just was a very specific thing yeah like it was a period piece so it wasn't gonna um someone said tech decks versus other brands is the equivalent of real skaters yelling get a real board to long borders funny are they not right just kidding funny Spencer is king mickey in the kingdom hearts movie when does mickey get kinged i don't know anything about that shit <laughs> <laughs> Uh, gotta be honest, man. I don't know anything about it. Someone said I want to. Laura Gross says I want to paint something, but I don't know what. Any ideas? Paint um, us. Paint Shane and I building Lego. Paint us building Legos, but make us really buff. Okay, Alex said Skate Three soundtrack clears all pro skater. Uh, why don't you go fuck yourself, dude? <laughs> what's What's on that one? What's name Name any. Uh, there's there cannot be like it's probably like. It's probably like fucking uh, like Imagine Dragons and shit. It's, it absolutely is not. Okay, Skate Three soundtrack. What? Oh, skateboarding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's like Mob Deep. Okay, each in Orange. Okay, Beastie Boys. Yeah, Dinosaur wow. Junior. I can't believe you compared Beastie Boys Joy to Division. Imagine Dragons. Oh, ODB. Pixies. ODB, oh, they yeah. they got. Oh, dude, they have Goodbye Horses. Okay, they wait. Have, I take it all Joy back. Division Bro, they got misfits. Wait, did uh, did chat watch the video today? Yeah, well, guys, watch or, Culinary Crimes. Or not? Sorry, sorry, not uh, that. The, watch Culinary Crimes. <laughs> no, don't watch that. I meant sorry. I meant the video yesterday of me guessing people based on their top three artists. Bro, that video worked. Um, I'm curious. Uh, Dude, there was no misfits on there. Oh, someone said gentleman sniper chess. Do with muskets. Oh my. <laughs> God. Yeah, yeah. We have to, we have to front load it. And then someone said sniper Jenga. Uh, that was my other pitch was Jenga, but with pool cues. So you have a big Jenga tower. Alex, write that down. And you can only knock them out with a That's pool amazing. cue. You have to, so you, you can't be that close. And then someone said too many bones is an awesome game, dude. I'm always having that problem. We gotta play Pass the Pig. What Don't is pork. That? But get this. It's just you have like two pigs and you roll them, and then depending on how they're standing. You John Pork Moose Master. Dude. Yeah, you're thinking about it. Sorry, I got distracted by Twitter. Oh, here, let me get out of here. Get out of there, dude. Okay, I'm back. 
Long Distance, Jenga. Everyone, so like Chumbawamba, do they have songs besides Tub Thumper? Tub Thumping? Apparently. Uh, Thumb Thumper? The comments were saying that they've got a lot of really good dis discography. Um, I will admit, that was a tough challenge for me, guessing people based on their favorite artists, because I am not a music head. Um, I was glad it gave me an opportunity to kind of clear up. Um, I think a lot of Swifties thought that I hated Taylor Swift because of a joke I had made on Reddit. Um, before. What did you say? Oh, well, so I made a joke about uh, that uh, our song is Taylor Swift's only good song, mm -hmm. which is clearly a joke, like clearly. Um, but a lot of them didn't know that it was a joke, and they were mad. They were mad at me. They thought I hated Taylor Swift. Um, that is not the case. Um, and I don't even I don't hate Taylor Swift, even though she's um, dating a Kansas City Chief. Which are the, the the Chiefs are the rivals to the Broncos. Okay. okay. So, but I'm like actually each, a why fan. Do they, why do they not like each other? Uh, they're in the same division, so they have to play each other every year. Like, so it's a whole football thing. Like, you're, in your division, you have to be the best in your division to make it to the playoffs. So they're kind of fighting all the time. Um, it's, it's a rivalry. It's not like a hate hate thing, but um. Uh, so it's kind of like Plants vs Zombies. It's kind of like Plants vs Zombies. Um, but uh, no, I I, I I like Taylor Swift. I, I as a person who's not super into music, it's just kind of like yeah, yeah, it's crazy because I don't like cool. Taylor Swift. And you're 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 willing to just say that? Yeah. No, right. I think we got Heidi in the room too. Yeah, yeah Heidi's, I, Heidi's. And Heidi, do you have? Did you have Taylor Swift in your top three? Yeah, big Swifty. Oh, you had the you had the like this is clearly because when he didn't guess you immediately, I was like this is clear because like Carly Rae, Taylor Swift. But see, I don't talk. To people about music that often, so yeah. I just didn't know. Um, Heidi, how does that make you feel hearing that? Someone, Heidi's the most. Someone, Heidi's someone, the most normal Swift. Someone you work. Jeez. <laughs> um, am I wrong? I am. What Spencer says is his own opinion. I am just here. Uh, uh, I think she's luck. probably a chill person. I just don't like her music. I think the hype is is insane. I smoke with her. Yeah, Alex would smoke with her. Out with cigarettes? Yeah. <laughs> dude, I wonder if Taylor Swift has ever smoked a cigarette. Absolutely. Dude, what if Taylor Swift blasted cigs? I think Taylor Swift absolutely blasted right, cigs. A cigarette fight. A cigarette fight. <laughs> a cigarette fight. Dude, Phoebe Bridgers would smoke Taylor oh, Swift. Oh my god. Yeah, Didn't I they think both? so. No, no. Phoebe Bridgers was just friends with Matt Healy. But we'll get into that drama on the pod. No. Yeah, we're starting a drama pod. <laughs> God damn, no. I don't know anything about that stuff. I would come across it, and I'm like, uh, this sounds like a foreign language to me. I do not know what people are talking about. But so, now now that she's dating Travis Kelsey, I'm like, okay. Someone said, so, didn't Spencer say uh, Enchanted is my go-to Taylor Swift song? Yeah, no, I, I do like Enchanted. That's, the, a, that's a pretty good one. The funniest thing, I will say, is that... Oh, shit. Jesus Christ, dude. Um... Is that now that she's dating um, Travis Kelsey, who's a um, uh, football player? Um, I listen. To, I listen to football podcasts, and they now. I do. They now, but it's like these dudes, these like these older <laughs> dudes who are football analysts, and they talk about Taylor Swift every episode now. At some point, they bring up Taylor Swift, and it's so funny because there's nothing else to talk about. They're like, Dude, no, uh, there's, there's tons a, of stuff to talk about. Did you, see but no. Did you see that pass the other well, day? Well, for instance, they they bring up, I'm, and I'm not kidding, they, they bring up, they're joking, but also not, when they're like, yeah, Kansas City lost this game this week, and uh, Taylor Swift wasn't in the stands. <laughs> and you have to wonder if that plays a part. So, okay, real talk, this is going to make me sound like a Taylor Swift hater, but it is very funny. So the Denver Broncos had lost <laughs> to the Kansas City Chiefs for like five years in a row. Like, yeah. we have not beaten the Chiefs in forever. They We... Okay. <laughs> Look, if they needed me to go out there, I would. Uh, <laughs> um, but they had not they had not won a game against the Chiefs in forever. They finally beat them uh, a couple two weeks ago. They beat them and immediately start blasting Taylor Swift in the stadium. And I'm like, that is so petty. That's so like that's funny. so fucked up. They started blasting Shake It Off, and I'm like, God damn. Shake It Off is annoying as shit. I don't know if I would... I, 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 
I I actually I did like Shake It Off when I first Heidi. Heard what do you it. think about Shake It Off? But that's like the that's like the Buddy Holly of uh, no of Buddy Taylor Holly's Swift. good. No, it's like the <laughs> it's like the it's like it's like the Beverly Hills. But I would argue that Beverly Hills is good. God damn! Is anyone oh. are there? Do we have any Swifties in chat? Are you honestly a lot of people are like kind of chill. Like chat is very chill about this. Wow. Uh, so, sauce asked the chosen's favorite sauce. Oh, the chosen's favorite sauce. At first, I saw that I was like, "Sauce, why are you asking again?" And then I was like, "Wait, no, no, this is for the chosen." Oh, that's and this tough. is fucking funny. That's tough, man. Ah, uh, I don't know, dude. Chosen only eats mild sauce from Taco Bell. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> really great. Yeah, anything else is simply too spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, someone said, okay, wait, wait, um, let me see, uh, someone said, um, choosing to ignore everything y'all are saying, so I guess that must be a Swifty. Oh, yeah. Someone said, I'm a Swifty. Someone said, imagine getting clowned on by a bunch of nerds for being a jock. That's literally Shane in the office every day. It's really funny. <laughs> we literally operate in the opposite yeah. of plenty of places. It's like, oh, how was the fucking sport, idiot? That, that's, Kiana literally, like, but she's being genuinely supportive, but she's just like, hey, the the Broncos, <laughs> they did the thing. So funny. Someone okay. said Chosen seems like a ketchup is superior type of guy. I was about to be like, I'm a ketchup is superior type of guy. Then I was like, well, wait. You are the Chosen. Yeah. Um, sorry, man. You're the freaking Chosen. Dude, ketchup is great. Ketchup is really solid. Um, you know what I'm not a fan of? I'm not a mayonnaise person. Dude, have like, you ever mixed like ketchup and mayonnaise? Ketchup and mayonnaise yeah uh doesn't that just make kind of like a thousand island sort of situation? yeah it's delicious yeah wow this is looking sick as fuck what is i'm a dyed in the wool swifty and i completely for. respect the right for people to dislike her music i will go feral if people start s shaming her though no certainly none of that oh yeah no 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 and i i absolutely something i do that something that is absolutely true is Taylor gets a lot of shit for like her dating life, and I'm like, dude, if that's I could, some bullshit. If I could date that many beautiful people, also like, bro, Pete Davidson's out here doing his thing, and we're like, he gets like praised, and Taylor Swift. Well, dates. I think we should be making fun of him though. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't think we're giving him enough shit. <laughs> yeah. But I'm saying at large, um, it's just it shows. I mean, it's one of those things that's just like. So it's so cliche at this point that how people keep doing it, but they do keep doing it. Um, I what I think is funny, and I, I think I mentioned this is I'm like, dude, if if you're a dude and you're gonna date Taylor Swift, you gotta you gotta be if you're gonna date Taylor Swift or Adele, you better be you better be on your shit. You better be good. You better be a good guy because they're gonna the, or else they'll fucking ruin you. Dude, yeah, we should do a video where we figure out like what Taylor Swift's breakup song would be like called if you guys dated. Oh, that's really yeah, funny. That's funny. Mine oh. would be like he was awesome. Um <laughs> um Oh god. Um Mountain do your own thing. Oh. That was good. That was clean, dude. That yeah. was off the cuff. Yeah. What can I say? No, I'm still proud of my Travis Kelsey one. No, fourth, that was a fourth, banger. Fourth and none. Or what I forget. I forget if that was it. Fourth and none. Yours I look, my the, the podcast I listen to, these two like fifty year old sports analysts, they're like You think they got some hot takes? They were talking and they were like they're like I they're like, I think maybe they're gonna do it. He's like they're like, I think they might last, you know? Like they they seem like they actually could work. It's I, it's so funny to hear it's so funny to hear these dudes who only talk about football talk about like this shit. I love it. Um, they have pretty good takes. They have good football takes. It was someone said "Kickstart My Heart." That's really good. Kickstart my heart, damn. That's a good song. Yeah, kickstart. Kickstart my heart though sounds too much like an Aerosmith song. It's a it's a Motley Crue song. Oh, it literally is. But it is still a, that's still a good title. Um, check this out. Check. Oh, fuck! Okay, make him play with him. Play with him. Dude, play with him. Dude, dude, play with him. If you could be really good at any of these, what would you be really good at? Someone said Shane definitely listens to Pat McAfee. I do not listen to Pat McAfee. I was gonna say, um, is that the fucking? Is that the? Uh, 
Is it the antivirus guy? No, but he had, uh, Pat McAfee's the guy who had Aaron Rodgers on his show when Aaron Rodgers was being all anti-vax. Fuck. Um, Him and Shailene. No, I, it's, uh, I don't listen to, um, Pat McAfee. It's actually, uh, I, I'm not into sports betting at all, but it's the, um, it's the Ringer podcast. And they, I just like, cause they, they really are good at kind of like, I think they're good at analyzing teams a little bit. It's more that I just, I want to, after I watch, since football is something that only I'm into and I don't have many people to talk to about, I like to just listen to people talk about it. You're the meme of the guy sitting next to the, like, eating his, like, cereal or whatever next to the pictures. Of, Straight yeah. up. Like, I just, it's, I'm no, like, I, I, dude, I just want to hear people talk about it. It's kind of the same, um, I need to find some good uh, video game podcasts, because, like, you know, there's just, but, I, but I, you know what, no, because I, I talk to you guys about video games. But football, uh, I just, I kind of watch it, and then I'm like, all right. Yeah. And uh, I talk to my brothers about it sometimes, but to just hear people talking about it is fun for me. No, I, I like, agreed. Um, someone in chat, Heidi, said, Carly Rae, greater than Taylor Swift. Whoa. I will say, I am a big Carly Rae fan. I like Carly Rae. I, I, yeah. I don't listen to a, like, I don't listen to an artist. Like, I don't put on, like, an album. I just listen to songs, but... I, I'm just a big fan of her vibe. Like, I really like, and I like Carly Rae's sound a lot. Like, I love the retro type of vibe. Um, uh, oh. The song she had with Rufus Wainwright was definitely probably my favorite song of last year. It's, I, what I will say is crazy. That might have even been this year. I don't fucking know, dude. Something I will, uh, something I will give to Taylor Swift, though, is goddamn, the longevity of her superstardom is yeah. mind-boggling to me. Like, truly has, like, kind of only gotten more famous. It's 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 truly nuts. Um, I mean, Beyonce is the same way, and Beyonce's last has been around even far longer. Um, but it, it's I just think it's impressive when people last that long and, and yeah. do that well. Like, I, I'm like, that's... That's like you have a stellar team. No, I mean, and like, you've done a great job. In elementary school, we did like the people did different songs, and like Destiny's Child was in our like elementary school play, and like yeah. that's crazy because that was like twenty fucking years ago. Yeah. That was over. And ultimately, like, yeah, um, I was gonna say, and like, because what I've seen on Twitter is people like comparing Taylor Swift to Beyonce and stuff, and I'm just like, just the, the don't I I'm like I don't. I don't know enough about music to even give an honest opinion about things, but I'm like, when you're comparing artists, I'm like, that's weird. Cause... Yeah, when you're comparing artists, like, Beyonce's gonna win. <laughs> Look, my own personal take, yeah, but I don't know enough. I'm too stupid. Whoa, Courtney Ann says, got tickets for Creed next summer. Was definitely listening to Creed on the way to work today. Dude, hell yeah, man. I would sing it, but we'd get demonetized. But I do love Creed. That's my, like, karaoke song. Is it really? Yeah, um, arms wide open. That's a that's a banger, dude. Dude, their music rocks so much. <laughs> it's funny because as a kid I didn't like it. Really? As a kid I was like, no. Nah. They got made fun of a lot when they. No, was it was younger. like it was like the because all my friends listened to Creed and System of a Down. I was like, I don't really like this. Mm -hmm. I was like, I like, I'm, give me the Beatles. I was that kid. Okay. Who, I was the the kid in the comments like, hey, like I remember when music was good. Wow. <laughs> That sucks. And then uh, some clicked in middle school. Uh, the System of a Down, uh, that double album came out, and I was like, just kidding, this is the best shit I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> um, has a band ever been or will ever be more hated than Nickelback? Do you remember how much they were hated? It was just, yeah. Like, it was a full-on joke. They were still releasing new albums, and, and it was just a joke that they people just hated them. And it wasn't even a matter of, people weren't even saying, like, their music sucks. They just hated them. People just were like, fuck these guys. It was so interesting. Um, yeah, I mean, it was pretty funny. It was funny. Um, I mean, it was like, because like, Photograph is like one of the goofiest songs of all dude, time. Bro. And it's just like how, like, I think it's one of those things where when something is so popular, you kind of just like don't understand. It's like, truly, like, who is unironically listening to this? I think a lot of people. Yeah, like, it, it had to be. I do look not photograph, but some of their earlier songs. No, uh, what's I it called is like to. really good. Uh, what's the the song about being an alcoholic? What? Uh, and then their Spider Man two song. Yes, Hero. Oh my God. Oh, actually, no. I take it back. I, that I song think, annoys the shit out of I me. I think Hero rocks. I mean, I wouldn't want to listen to it a ton. Oh, how you remind me. 
Oh, yes. That's what I'm thinking of. That one kicks ass. But, like, Animals is a terrible song. Rockstar is a terrible song. Yeah, Rockstar is ridiculous. Uh, Photograph is pretty annoying. We might get some uh, Nickelback yeah. fans coming after us, though. Someone said, I think everyone hated Chainsmokers at one point. Yeah, that's also true. Okay. Who would win in a fight? All Out War. Swifties? Swifties on one side. It's like one of those, those like, um, like simulations. The, the totally you accurate see? battle simulator. You have Swifties, all the Swifties of the world on one side, all the BTS fans on the other side. I think we, so we kind of had. Did we have this discussion? We, we like lightly touched on this discussion and like, you know, the chat was divided. Um, cause I mean, they're. Put a poll in. Yeah. Can we, let's, let's see. Is that fair? Cause does. Who has more, uh, do BTS have more of a fan base worldwide? Like just sheer numbers? I think the numbers game BTS might have them beat. No, but here's the thing, like when you look at, you realize kind of how like out of touch, I realize how out of touch I am when it's like, oh, Bad Bunny's like the top artist in the world. I'm like, yeah. I literally have never encountered this Well, man. I think that's also just a matter of being like, oh, I'm American and I'm, I, that's I, what I, I misjudge mean. Like, some stuff. That's kind of like um, uh, when you look at like, Instagram followers of the world, and then uh, Cristiano Ronaldo yeah, yeah, he's has everyone one. beat by so much. I will say, like, I and I follow um, international football uh, sometimes, but as an American, it's just it's hard to realize the fucking scope of soccer in Europe and and everywhere. Um, but uh, someone yeah. said Barb's would win. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of okay, okay. No, I mean no, but army army fans will like come to your house. Yeah, it's a matter. Of, okay, okay. There's here's no a different way. Here's BTS a different fans. way of doing it. Because we're not taking out take out numbers. Okay, we're ending the poll. We're ending the poll. Ending the poll here. A hundred BTS army one. BTS army one. Yeah, sixty percent by like a lot. hundred Swifties versus a hundred BTS fans versus the sun. A random poll uh, or a random selection of them. Who is more powerful? That's it, you know? I think, I, I, I'm gonna say BTS is, I think they're gonna, I think you're right, I think I agree with you, I think they're crazier. But it almost might be like a Tower of Babel situation where they're all trying to do like the same thing, but they're from all over the world. Yeah. Like, I can't imagine liking, this is gonna sound, like, I don't like Taylor Swift. I don't like her music, sorry. I shouldn't be saying I don't like Taylor Swift. I don't like Taylor Swift, the music. I, right. I don't know anything about her as a person. She's probably, she's probably chill. If you were like, hey, you have to hang out with Taylor Swift, I'd be like, oh, sick. Um, <laughs> I'd be like, all right. Or be like, oh, cool. Um, but then, um, yeah, you like, like, I can't imagine being not American and listening to Taylor Swift. Like, does that sound weird? Like, you've heard, you, it's impossible to not hear her music. Well, no, no, no. I mean, like, I'm saying, like, I, I, it's crazy to me that she has, like, an international audience. Because, like, her music feels so, like, like, uh, like, it's so American. It's so American. It's she like is, it's like yeah. it's country music. It's yeah, and like, I mean, I mean, or it was. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, Dude, I was looking at BTS because I, I was thinking about putting BTS in the thumbnail. I don't think they've dropped an album in like two years. Well, no, they've been they've been busy. They've been busy, aren't they? Or some of them are in in the army. They all are. They're yeah. Like yeah. Yep. Um, like five years. I don't actually know that's crazy. Time. But not all of them. I remember they one time. Are. I remember one time I made a. Um, this is a, this is my only um, brush with BTS fans. I one time made a joke on Twitter, and it was very much not. I was not making fun of BTS. I like mentioned Jungkook or, or so, like a young cook, uh, um, and I just was like, it was just like a innocent joke. It just it, BTS was part of the yeah the punch aspect line. of it, but it was not making fun of them, and. They responded with like, yeah, hey, here's well, your address. They were like, yeah, well, you don't have eyebrows. And I was like, holy shit. Like, I was like, God damn. Whoa. Like, it's kind of funny, though. I was like, it is funny. I was like, damn. <laughs> Whoa. I wasn't like, I wasn't. Like no, even, no. It's like, I yeah. was just like, geez. It's like what I'm saying. It's like they'll show up to your house. Yeah, they will maybe kill you. Um, uh, but that was my only run-in. Otherwise, ever since then, I'm like, you know what? Someone said, careful right now, Shane. <laughs> <laughs> well, careful with that. Um, but, uh, but yeah. Um, oh, oh no, I was gonna say Ariana. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting, uh, apparently it's, it's, it's Jungkook. 
not Young Cook. So I said it. Cr- I, said I think it. you said it right. John Cook, right? John Cook, John Cook. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, dude. Um, I anyways. Uh, and I, I can't remember if it was him or what. Which which BTS member? I Someone said Carl Jung Cook. <laughs> um, but uh, oh, who would win in a fight? Um, a hundred Ariana Grande fans. Or a hundred Gex. Or a hundred Gex. <laughs> or or a hundred Swifties. I or, feel like Swifties. I feel like Swifties would beat Ariana fans. That's my hot take. It's from the Shane ukulele video dropping tomorrow. Fuck. It's a hard J in Korean. Jung Cook, John Pork. Why am I apologizing when he's someone's saying that saying, shit? Oh, someone's saying. Well, no, people. Everyone's saying different shit, and I don't know if they're making fun of our pronunciation or trying to correct it. I can. I, you're talking to the person who can't pronounce Chasm. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I look. I can't pronounce anything. Where I'm missing another piece. This is lame. Oh, there it is. Um, one hundred geckos. One hundred. Did either of us yeah, watch Edge Runners? I did. You did. Didn't I watched you? Edge Runners. That shit rocked. Yeah, dude. that was probably my favorite show of that Edging year. Edging is so sick. <laughs> <laughs> dude, we got to talk about our. Uh, 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 <laughs> what was it? <laughs> what was it? We got to talk about our. <laughs> <laughs> no, I guess not. <laughs> Well, cause, uh, cause uh, we're talking about the total lack of no no November jokes. Yeah. Okay. So what what's going on with that, guys? Why is there no not November? There, I haven't, I haven't seen anything either. I have not seen a single thing I, about no I not November. I think it's because gooning has taken off. Yeah. So no, our one, theory, no one's taking a break. Our theory is that gooning memes have uh, completely <laughs> overshadowed. What is the chosen thing about gooning? Oh, it's his worst nightmare. <laughs> I really want to like. I truly. I would love to do a and d campaign where it's it's chosen multi, here, get this, get this pitch. Okay, this is the new sniper chess. A chosen D&D campaign where the whole thing is escape the goon cave. Like you're facing, your 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 main enemy is the gooner. And his whole thing, <laughs> the average his, gooner. his whole thing is jacking off. And the chosen is like, no, it's all about no fap. And they face off and it's, that that's that's my stupid stupid pitch. Yes, there you go, chat. There you go. Someone said after twenty twenty, no, not November is forced. Agreed. Yeah, it just feels like it kind of died out. Yeah, the we're goonies. just kind of done with it. I, I I you know every day I'm a little <laughs> sad, but also amused that I know of. The meme of gooning. It's so stupid. It's not a meme, bro. It's real. <laughs> it's real. Oh, now. dude. Someone said goons and goblins. Goons and goblins. <laughs> dude, what the fuck? Oh, my God. Someone said, what is the goon cage? <laughs> That's it. Go to the goon cage. <laughs> For whom the goon cage? <laughs> For whom the goon cage is? <laughs> I think it's just unfortunate, like, even before the, the newer, like, the new context, like, goon was such a funny word. Yeah. And like, it's, it's like, oh, like, Batman, like, oh, it's like Mr. Freeze's goons. I like, know, goons was, like, a di- very like, different thing, and suddenly it became this. I think, like, even totally without, like, it's just an objectively funny word. Absolutely. No, goon is very funny. When Mario takes down all those goombas. <laughs> <laughs> sauce has another question for us. He says, does the chosen sauce on him? What? Does the chosen sauce on him? Yeah, on him. The, does the chosen sauce on him? No. Ooh, someone said, is the chosen asexual? Uh, no, the chosen is not asexual. Um, because he's he's actively, like, for him, it's more of like a Jedi thing of like, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. fighting this. Like, he's fighting His whole it, thing yeah. is that he... He does have sexuality, but he he is he is actively chooses to not yeah. partake. Um, no, I felt I, I I know people threw that out there, and I was like, I don't think that's right for me to because uh, I don't you know I'm I'm personally you're not, not making a, that character choice. I'm not asexual. I, I would feel weird um, doing that, and and like uh, you know because I, I would I'd be afraid of misrepresenting. Um, 
people who are asexual. But uh, no, so he is he is actively staving off. Um, now is is chosen a an alpha, a beta, or an omega? Have we talked about the I omega versus none of them? The... I don't think he's any of them. No, so that means you're a beta. Fuck. Yeah. God I'm damn it. No, the chosen. No, it's so. This is the Omega verse. This is totally different. Oh, okay. This is this is something that was explained to me by a friend, and uh, yeah, the Omega verse is very different. I don't even know if I should be truly bringing it up. Mm. Some... I don't know anything about this. It's crazy, dude. Wow, I love that one video of like it's like why Sigma males are more attractive than alpha males. And it's like this YouTube video and it has this insane intro of like tigers and lions and stuff. It's one of those fucking manosphere YouTubers. Um, someone pointed out that, this I saw this forever ago, that um, that like alpha and sigma and stuff is just astrology for men. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, cause it's, chat knows that that's all based on like a bullshit study right oh the wolf thing the wolf thing and that alphas actually don't exist that it was just the the other wolves parents yeah and so it was yeah. like oh there's no such thing as an alpha it's no just... they, they work in a group also um i didn't know if people know this but uh humans and and wolves are different species <laughs> <laughs> that, that we don't operate chat really like wants that. me to explain the omega verse i also love when there's there's like people who also bring up like there's like that book forever ago that was like the gorilla mindset and i'm like <laughs> gorillas gorillas are not Christ. alpha males like we think they're gorillas sit around chill and just eat vegetables dude you gotta uh you gotta see um yeah like have you ever seen a gorilla get rained on and they just freak the fuck yeah. out no yeah gorillas are technically all betas um oh my god i just read about the omegaverse what is so the omegaverse? alex knows the omegaverse is it so i mean like i'm i'm not going to do it justice but essentially it's like a it's like a it's like a furry hierarchy almost oh and it's all about like here like well, let me just pull up like because i'm not gonna omega verse i don't actually see it directly tied to furries um right. yeah it's a dominance hierarchy in humans which are divided into dominant alphas neutral betas and submissive omegas but so they use a lot of kind of like furry like you know animal kind of um yeah, here we go. Interesting. Yeah. This, I never associated like beta and alpha with So this um, is totally separate. Okay. So this is totally separate from alpha beta cuz like when I like I took the thing and it was like you're a beta. And I was like I'm not a beta. And beta basically means you're 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 separate from you're kind of you're you're separate from the the rat race. So um oh. the omegaverse is an alternate universe following the hierarchy of wolves. So it is, it is similar in that way. That is to say, Alpha, Beta, Omega. The system is what also gives the name Omegaverse, as well as its short term ABO. Commonly in fixed with this universe, you see three types. Um, so Alphas are the highest rank. They're protective of what's theirs and can be highly aggressive. Um, and then it gets into like the weird sex stuff. <laughs> but it's like you know it's like it's like a lot of like mating it's like a lot of like it's like a okay. fanfic thing so it's like uh it's like you know like i don't know if you do you know anything about like well i'm not even gonna get into that man but it's like you know they'll, they'll put up they'll put up like pheromones and like scents and stuff like that and it's basically like you're it's like dog behavior and then betas are right. like basically regular people they don't they have like a weak scent and they're just like totally separate from okay. like the, the, the you're just not in the omega verse if you're a beta. yeah and then, uh, and then Omegas are like, you know, like, they're like, the, they're the ones getting impregnated. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And Alphas are the ones, but it's like, it's not, I don't think it's relying on gender or anything like that. Yeah. It's, everyone's it's... yelling to, everyone's telling me to stop. <laughs> <laughs> but so, so from what stop! I, from what I understand, this was started by like, this is, this has roots in Supernatural. Like the show. Oh, yeah, I I don't know of this, but I I know that Supernatural has like an unbelievable internet presence. It's crazy. Like, like a, it's like it like it, if it, you put Supernatural fans versus BTS fans, ooh, like ooh, that's a good. Be oh, that's a good one. Who? Do you want to open it up to Super Who Lock or just Supernatural? Oh, Super Hulock, I just heard about Super Who Lock. I'm doing Super Who Do Super Who Lock. Versus BTS Army because Super Hulock, look if if there is any sort of eldritch gods that exist anywhere <laughs> in any sort of universe, the Super Hulock fans have found them, yeah. and they will summon them. Yeah, yeah. If if magic exists in this world, 
only Super Hulok fans know how to use it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that is that is probably the reality. Someone said I love Supernatural, but I don't think it came from there. Someone said it started with Star Trek. Is this becoming like a Slender Man thing? Where it's like, I actually don't know. I think all fanfic came from Star Trek. The, the, really? Guys, get this. It's just a theory. That was like the original... We gotta well, talk about we gotta talk about chain slipping in. It's just a theory. It's, I mean, it's all just a theory. Like that. Oh, was, dude, I nearly laughed. I was when like I biting said that. the. I like chewed off all the skin from the inside. I, of my I mouth truly. Right now. I was like, <laughs> like I'm glad because like the 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 camera doesn't catch it because it'll cut to the person talking. But I'm over there like, I like I, I punching I myself. Nearly laughed at that when you said Matthew Patrick. I also. That was that See, was. See, I actually knew that before we planned on doing the bit, because like I heard somewhere that his name was Matthew Patrick, and I was like, "That's the funniest shit I've ever that heard." That is in my just life. Matt Pat. Like because like Matthew Patrick in a vacuum is a totally normal name, but when you shorten it to Matt, I don't know. It's just Matt like Pat. yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, like offline, I can offline and tell you about some of this. Cr- like I legit think we could get demonetized if we talked about like the way the alphas are going about doing things. Super Hulk one. Wow! Sixty percent to thirty-eight. Whoa! Same ratio as the last one. Do not mess with Super Hulock. I need to watch more. Uh, I started a, um, I started a video essay on, uh, a lot of, like the Tumblr iceberg, oh. and it was fascinating. I get served um, a lot of the iceberg I was, videos. I was never. I have never in my life been on Tumblr. I've never had an account, so I hear about this lore, and I'm just like. Damn. It's Sounds crazy. Keanu, Keanu was there when a lot of it was written, I wow. think. Wow. She was there when it yeah. was written. Um <laughs> said, do not offline this. <laughs> <laughs> don't do, don't even talk about it. Um you know what uh you know what I got served on TikTok that was a fucking mind blowing blast from the past was a like a compilation of boxy videos. Ooh Bro That's chat, as fuck. Chat, do you know about Boxy? I knew I watched some of the boxy videos, but I was not there and was not aware of the boxy wars. <laughs> that was like that was on like 4chan and stuff, right? Was that 4chan? See, I was never on 4chan either. I'm grateful that I was never on 4chan or Tumblr. Uh, I don't think I would have been able to handle it. Um, now, were, now, chat's was... fighting about Eddie Munson. Oh, I didn't even watch that season. But yeah, that that was like you know that was kind of the newest. Yeah, that was just saying boxy. Boxy. Okay, guys. Fuck. We could do a we could do a whole video series like explaining the, some of these concepts like Dude, I, yeah, or like explaining like me, explaining these to like Amanda, like you know, like the offline oh, that's like funny. I think she's a she's a gold mine. Yeah. This what? is so fucking sick, dude. This is really dope. Hey, Check it, we guys. Didn't see any of this. Check it. There's a little goon cave at the bottom, too. Guys, we have a little <laughs> goon cave. Dude, this is like sick. monitors down here. <laughs> Dude, so sick. I think that's, guys, I think we freaking crushed it. Dude, we're not done yet, though. Oh, right, we gotta add our little fucking dude. I wonder if he has a name. There's a QR code to look at, uh, to look at fucking... Here, I'm gonna swap this. Someone says, Spence, you ever play Age of Mythology? Yeah, I did. Aren't they releasing, like, a, re- a remake or something? Someone said Amanda is not ready. Amanda, I don't know. I, I, I mean this just because I'm, like, thinking about, like, getting immersed in this from scratch. I don't know if Amanda could handle it. Ah! Her head would explode, like, I, in, uh... I just don't think... I just think, like... How do you explain this shit? I think she could handle it. I think she would love it. Okay. That's like that's like Amanda's such a good Amanda and Angela are both such good like reactors. Yeah. Like you know, you tell them anything and like they just like they buy they buy it. And Amanda's really into true crime. Like I, I don't think it will phase her. Whoa. Explain goon caves to Amanda. Yeah, yeah, Aww. we're gonna explain goon caves to Amanda. Did we play the remake of uh, R- Risk of Rain? Dude, we almost thought about doing it today, but I was like, I don't know if people will be into that. Who remembers Unforgivable on YouTube? Uh, me. Fucking love that shit. Oh, yeah. Waffle fries. Yeah. A lean night. 
That was that was gigantic. I, do you remember when like a viral video was like the only thing oh, for a while? Like, yeah, this is like already built, dude. I I miss when a video would go viral and that was the video for that year, and there wouldn't be another viral video forever. Yeah, you go on and be like, dude, I I have, I have five videos from this year and and I want to share them with you. Okay, the instructions. Yeah. Dude, so this will go. Yeah. I think this will freaking go, dude. Hey guys, push the, uh, the skate park next time so we can watch you build. So watch me build. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I was not expecting uh, God <laughs> damn. That sucks. <laughs> now watch me build. Oh right. no. <laughs> All right, get the ukulele. <laughs> Dude, tonight, tonight, tonight mm -hmm. you landing with us, bro? Oh, this what? Uh, Modern Warfare 3. Oh. Are you playing Terminal, bro? Doesn't it suck? Didn't I hear the multiplayer, the, the single player apparently is not awesome. I'll still no, probably play. That's not why we're here. But you know what? We're here for, I'm here for the zombies. Yeah. We come to this place. For zombies. <laughs> for zombies. <laughs> I, I, I've told you guys, I've never been a, uh, a Call of Duty head. Dude. I know, guys, I'm sorry. Like, I see a cod, I throw it back. <laughs> All right. Someone said Spencer looking like a Yo young George R.R. R. Martin. That's crazy. That sucks, dude. So what did he look like young? I don't think I've seen that. I gotta see this thing go up that ramp. He's gonna fucking shoot up. He's gonna shoot up my ass. Wow. <laughs> Am I doing this right? Someone said, please bring back GTA roleplay. We had so much fun doing that. Yeah, the should. problem is not enough people watched it. However, Grand Theft Auto 6, dude, uh, I think you just do it three times. Yeah. Holy shit! Oh! Um. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, okay. I, I, I guess, I guess you can just kind of charge it up. What the frick? Okay, let me, let me try. That's not even how it's supposed to be. No, I, I think that is how. Oh it's yeah, you're be. right. You do just move it. Yeah, move it forward. Yeah, but you gotta kind of like. Yeah. Holy shit! Whoa! Whoa, we're we still going <laughs> into the dark. It's still upright, dude. This is the coolest. Death Cat by Cutie! Okay. okay. <laughs> Kinda cool. Dude. Fuck, this is sick. Dude, this is the sickest shit I've ever seen in my I entire think life. Three dudes that are like, boom, boom. No, bro, Heidi's here. Is Heidi still here? No, I can go. What the fuck? Where did Heidi leave? Heidi left. I was yeah. like, I've had enough of the sausage fest. Oh, <laughs> one more try. <laughs> yeah! This is so freaking sick, dude. Okay, wait, I'm gonna look up young George R. R. Martin. He looks exactly the same. Oh! Oh, no, that's Kit Harrington. <laughs> okay, I, like, I can kind of see it. Well, okay, one we'll second. Let them he looks a little like uh, John Descartes. Who the fuck is that? Yeah. Oh, no, sorry, Rene Descartes. A philosopher from the 1600s or 1500s. Just a guy. He's, he's, he's truly some guy. But everyone's saying uh, Kit Harrington. Oh, nice catch. Oh, no, but I dropped it. Heidi, you fucking missed it, dude. He's dead. Just all these women came in. <laughs> <laughs> no. Heck? It was just a jam. Uh, <laughs> 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 no, we, we ramped it and it went all the way over there. Okay, wait, wait. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> all, these, all these women came in. Ah, <laughs> uh, dude, I think we've lost to this. Yeah! Oh. Fuck, this is sick. Let's fucking go! Dude, I didn't realize we had E.T. over here. <laughs> okay, now, dude, how do we... 
How do we make this even more epic? <laughs> Check this shit out. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Dude, the wheel came off like right in front of my face. I don't know where the rest went. <laughs> here's the rest of the bike. And here's the guy. Jesus Christ. Wait, let me try and catch it in my mouth. It's hard to get a good grip. Fuck. He just wants to come off the bike. Just like our real motorcycles. Oh! oh! That was sick. <laughs> Dude, that was so fucking sick! Okay, get one more. One more. Whoa! <laughs> I kind of want to see how far he can travel. Like, when we go out there. And see oh if I can God, get. Oh my God, funny! Do you want to do it like down this way? We yeah. Can turn the camera around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there anything that would dox so see us? If I can, see if I can uh, get it over to that trash can. No, I don't think so. All right, hold on. We are out. Okay. It's just really dark. Whoa! Yeah! Whoa! Dude, chat's chat's freaking out. They're like, "This is cool as hell." He made it all the way over here. Bro, give a shot of uh, Shane. Spencer, Spencer. Well, let's see if I can get him all the way to you. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 my fucking God! Yeah. Mom, get the camera! <laughs> let's freaking go, dude! Oh, oh, he's killing her! <laughs> he's dying! Hell yes. Okay, let me check for super chats. Oh, he's dead! Hey, man. Oh, I can't even. No! Honestly, just the motorcycles, probably. <sighs> that was a lot of excitement. And guys, you can get this Lego set. Whoa! <laughs> what? Dude, we need slow mo. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, let me get my camera. I'll hit the ramp. Okay. Where'd the fingerboard go? Oh, I put it on my ass. Oh, I launched it <laughs> into his ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. okay. Um, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Let me know when you're, when you're good. Okay. Recording. Whoa! Dude. What? Dude! Bro! This Bro, that was the sickest thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay, 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 wait, let's walk Wait, over. pan back over. That was legitness. <laughs> <laughs> right, wait, wait. I, let, me, let me make sure. Wait, chill, chill. Chill. Yeah, yeah. Dude, chat, you guys are going to freak out when you see this shit. Okay, okay, okay. Can you, can you see it? Hold on. Yeah, yeah, see it. Okay. Oh. Dude, that was like 30 spins. Here, let me go back. Let me go back. <laughs> Holy shit. No way. Dude, Shane, no look at this. Way. Okay. Oh, shit, bro. No, and yes. then it comes out, like, and it keeps going. Whoa. Dude, let's freaking go, dude. Someone said me when I'm 12. <laughs> you just missed the sickest dude, thing like, ever. This, this shit's so sick. Dude, it uh, would be, did the coolest stunt thing ever. It's so sick. Frickin' yeah. He's got a leg on the drive. Oh! Oh, and I caught it! Oh, dude, he freaking caught it! That was some sleight of hand shit. I was like. Bro, is that point? <laughs> Bro, that's epic. Um, Let me get these track marks off of here. Yeah. Bro, my skid marks. That was legitness. That was legitness. Top 10 stream moments? Guys, there's a hundred thousand people in, in chat right now. <laughs> Dude, Tony Hawk is in chat. Guys, we went viral. <laughs> oh, here's your fingerboard though. Throw it. Ah. Whoa. Um. Someone said, "Bro, it's 1:25 a.m. in Germany. I need to work in eight hours, but this shit is sick." Like, don't yeah. go to work. Yeah, don't go to work. Be like, D boss, I'm real sorry about this. Did you see the tweet where it was like, uh, Marvel tweeted that thing, it was like, hey, like, here's a letter you can give to your boss, yeah, and it's yeah. like, uh, the event, like, uh, what are the two shows, like, the Eternals is out, or, not, sorry, the Marvels is out, and the, the Loki season, season, season finale. Season, 
it's, it's like, so, like, you can turn this in and be like, I'm sick for this, like, blah, blah, blah. And someone's like, dude, like, if I, if I got this from an employee, like, I would, I would fire them. Like, right there. <laughs> like, like, on, on the spot. <laughs> I gave him one today. He's, he's I was like, yeah, I was like, hit the, hit the bricks, man. <laughs> and I don't mean the Lego bricks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, no, we saw this at Target, and we're like, this is this is honestly cool as shit. Yeah. Um, not yeah. disappointed. This is probably my favorite build we've done. This build's really sick, because it wasn't that hard to build, but it feels very satisfying. And there's also, like, a little seat on the inside, a little soda. It's got a lot going on. Yeah, let's turn this around. See, And it's kind of, like, modular. Dude, like, you could buy, like, 30 of these and have, like, an insane... And you could make this all messed up and crazy, because check this out. <laughs> Holy shit. He's beginning to believe. <laughs> this is like if uh. Slow down. Dude. Well, it's like in, it's like it's like if it's like when you uh, when you how you. Whoa! It's a guy. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! So if you look at if you if you um unfocus your eyes, it's a spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said is Loki good? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't watched it. I've I've been a little burnt out on the the Marvel. Kind how of much? Uh, what, how much would it take for you to get to see the Marvels? I would see the Marvels. I, it wouldn't take much. I, I would see it. I just, you know, I'm just straight up burned out on Marvel shit. I will say, um, I can't help but be a little bit of a fanboy and be a little salty because uh, Kamala Khan's my favorite mm -hmm. in the comics, and they changed her whole thing so much that I'm like, what did they change? So in the comics, uh. For one, she's an Inhuman, which I get why they weren't going to do that, because they scrapped they that. finished that show. They scrapped that part of it. But in the comics, she, like, physically can make her body bigger and smaller. Like, yeah. So she'll make, like, her the fists arm, huge. She's, she's Luffy. It's not, like a, a, it's not like an energy thing. She just, and she has that power. Yeah. Um, and then in the show, they were like, oh, here's these bracelets, and they give you this oh, energy power. Okay. And I'm just like... I just was like, I was just, I, I also loved the first villain that she fights in the comics. It's this insane villain called the Inventor, and it's just so funny and insane. Um, it's Mark Wahlberg from Transformers 4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm just a little salty about that, but I really like the actress. Uh, I think she, I think she nails the character. I've seen like nothing. I just don't for her. like the, the powers and and the the backstory. So. Um, but I'll see it if I get a chance. But yeah, I'm just, I'm, when, just, I'm just a little like lost on the Marvel stuff right now. The, the multiverse stuff has honestly gotten, I've realized it lowered the stakes for me. Yeah, because it's like, I'm like, it's oh, like, yeah, well, there's just like, a bunch of uh, universes, so you can just hop over to a different universe. Yeah, where it's like they're not dead. I'm like, okay, so the, the, I don't care anymore. Yeah. It's kind of my, like, honestly, even them, like, we just finished Endgame, and then in Loki, which I loved Loki. But there is something to be said about them being like, oh yeah, the Infinity Stones, those, uh, yeah, there's a bunch, they don't give a shit. I'm just like, all right. Yeah. All right, so cool. The stakes are gone, and I don't care anymore. Um, I just, yeah, I, th I think it's gotten a little too episodic. Uh, Marvel stuff has started to remind me of like Law and Order episodes. Whoa. Where I'm just kind of like, all right. So it's great. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's great, it's just very formulaic. And I'm just getting a little bored. Maldostra said, would you see Squirrel Girl movie? Remember when she was like, everyone was talking about Squirrel Girl? She's the most like OP, isn't she? She's the most OP? Yeah, I but I, like, I never like, I never like looked in, I never investigated more. Guys, we need that Lego guy. I cannot get this piece out. I, I could do it with my teeth probably. Dude, oil me up. I'm coming in. You can do this? <laughs> All right, Alex thinks he can, he's up for the challenge. What is it? Yeah, I can't pull, get this piece. Pull that piece. little piece out. Oh. This piece is stuck in there. It is, it has become Arthur's sword. Oh, no. Oh no. I gotta just twist it. No, I don't, I, can, I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can Not do it. Not powerful oh, here, enough. Give it from the back. Oh no, no, you can't, because it's all. Give it to me. Back. Give it to me. Watch this. Good luck, dude. Who who dares take this challenge? No. No. Oh, God, he's no. making out with it. Oh, it. gross. And then they're going to eat me. Oh. Oh, my God. Yeah, bro. When that's in doubt, that's truly disgusting. Your tephus. I am upset. Uh, someone said Spencer eat the Lego. Don't, don't man. No. Don't. No, the they Lego. said Spencer, please don't eat the Lego. Uh, where? How did this go on? Guys, guys, let's fucking let's let's blow this thing and go home. Guys, we did it. This was awesome. 
This uh, was so sick. This was great, and now we got a fun new Lego set. And now we have this, and now we're gonna shred. Um, Dude, there's a moment in, in Sunday's video. Well, you guys will see what it is, but uh, never mind. I'll we'll offline about it. Whoa, almost got spoiled there. Almost got spoiled, but we it's a Trivial Pursuit of trying to laugh. Oh. It's really funny, but there's a moment where a hat appears. I, I Can anyone in chat predict who is going to be in this Trivial Pursuit? You can't say. You're not going to tease it. No. I mean, two two familiar faces. Two very familiar faces. Might be in this very room with us. Maybe. But you know, I'll but never not tell. But not me. Not me. Truly not me. Yeah, and not me. Mm -hmm. um, guys, this has been great. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, we love doing these Lego streams. So we're glad you we're glad you show into them. Show yeah, up to them. Show up and into them. This has been a great time. Uh, you know what? Shout out to Sauce. Thank you, Sauce. Yeah. And uh, we are going to be putting you in less videos after that feedback. Yeah, and thanks to Pale Vampire for. for... <laughs> I was like, I was trying to remember his name. I was like, fuck. Like, thank it would you be funny for. Yeah. Uh, I I would appreciate it too. I I honestly. Yeah. I. I'm down. No, someone guessed it right. It's a uh, it's Dream and Markiplier. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's not. No, there's no dream. There's no dream. Y'all, y'all didn't think my dream picture was funny last Guys, week. Guys, we're not gonna collab with Dream. We're not gonna collab with Dream. <laughs> we're not. I thought that was a funny picture. <laughs> I, like, I thought we just like dunking on him. We do Dude, like dunking me, on him. Me and my That's made what's funny about it. It's we're making fun of him. <laughs> okay, guys, this was real. I'm glad we cleared the air. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll see you soon. Who'd win in a fight? Uh, BTS fan Swifties all versus Dream. <laughs> <laughs> that masked or not? <laughs> oh, that's a good point. I don't know. I X'd out a chat and I was like, oh, the stream's over now. Like, because I X'd out a chat, but that's not how that works. Yeah, I don't, are I we still going, Alex? Oh, bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye.